Hello everyone, it's Mamo Tribe, Mamo Tribe aka MLX, and uh, you're welcome to Let's Create Art by mistake. <laughs> so the last time we made a just began something from the mind straight up and we painted this. So uh, yeah, let's try it today and see what's going to come out of it. So first I open up uh, Outrage. I like this uh, program because the uh, brushes feel like uh, the real thing and uh, yeah hopefully next month I've saved some cash and uh, I'll be uh, signing up to do some real traditional painting so let me select the oil brush you can press O P pencil both oil brush I can simply click on this and I think I'm on my texture brush so I use uh, three brushes the PSD brush, which I tried to copy how uh, Photoshop brushes work. Let me uh, show you how uh, this works. Like it blends nicely. Just blends up a little bit, you know, like that. I just like this brush, and uh, with these two uh, colors. Let's begin making mistakes. <laughs> now I don't know what I'm trying to do. Close this up. And uh, you can go into workbench mode when you press enter. It clears out all this clutter. But then again, I like to zoom out because sometimes I found out that uh, if I do the artwork, I uh, have some artwork at the edge over there. Okay, why does it do that? Okay. Good. So, like, I don't know what this is, <laughs> but let's just see if uh, it's going to make sense somehow, and then we can begin to build up from there. So, right now, I'm just letting my hand move. I'm not thinking about uh, anything at the moment. I just see. Um, what my mind is going to be able to pop up. And uh, this looks like some kind of vehicle. Looks like a uh, mechanical thing. I'm using the uh, brush I call the PSD brush. Weird PSD brush. I think we got a flying vehicle thingy going on right here. But right now it's too big. So I want to zoom out. So I click the transform tool. Click on the layer and then drag this down a little bit. Drag this down and just put it right here. Good. Now it looks like a speedboat. We'll go back to the uh, PSD brush. It looks like a speedboat. So uh, we'll see if I can uh, attempt to paint some kind of like watery, weird kind of. Uh, this part, part is splashing. It's going to be really bright. Just minimize this, minimize this guy. So we have some red water. And then the sky. So the sky I'm just going to zoom this down a bit. Like that. Good nice the sky. That'll be lighter, please. Cool. I think I'm getting the sky wrong because uh, if the water is this blue and then the water is supposed to reflect the sky very large brush is like uh, over 100 is the brush size 
So, tint. I'll just get rid of this too. It's too dark. It depends. Let me have a. I'm just trying to make sense out of this. More about it too much. Then uh, I'll just make this. Oh, this guy. Okay. Get this in horizon. And uh, I'll not forget about this guy right now and look at this uh, boat. Let's focus on the boat. Zoom in. Ah, my resolution is really poor. So, uh, how do we fix that? Let's go to edit. Precise painting. It's in 72. I think I'm going to uh, 120. Normally, when I paint, I put it on 300. But uh, because uh, the size here, I put it on 120. I'm using uh, Camtasia to record the screen. And if I uh, put it very high, high resolution, I'm just going to spend a lot of time here. Let me see my sky color in here. Let's go. Oh, it's too, uh, too bright. Oh, it's too kind of glossy. This boat has no cockpit. Some kind of weird engine kind of type thing. Yeah, like uh, give it these kind of dolphin wings. It's a bit dark. This. All right. <laughs> kind of then to make this kind of like streamlined and say, oh, it's kind of like going through the water. No, it's splashy, stuff like that, you know. Maybe this is too bright. Maybe that's not how it is, but <laughs> we'll get there. And then uh, this ripply disturbance effect. And uh, yeah, it's not that. Uh, give it that effect that A hey, is splashing and uh, causing some ripply problems around here. Uh, let's try and Weirdly trying to capture this uh, boat thingy. And then, uh, what do we do now? Yeah, let's add some of that. To make that effect really spread out. That is not how you draw water. That's like the most obvious water ever, I guess. <laughs> All right, expected boat. And I 
like what this uh, light is doing here. So now I'll just uh, use that. It's just a sealed kind of build. I have this uh, kick ass cockpit. I'm using blue. What other color can I use to complement this ship just to make it uh, stand out more? I'll take some color colors from the sky. Yeah, to sample, I use a malt just to sample from that. It would be really nice if I had some dolphins here. But uh, I don't have dolphin references and I don't know what dolphins look like from the head, the cat coat, so yeah, I'll just let the dolphin part go. Maybe I might do research at the dolphins, it depends. some cool parts so now I need some uh, I think I'll put some warm parts on this boat that's to uh, try to desaturate that let's desaturate that a little bit so this blue look for the warm counterpart yeah that'll be nice and then uh, let's use that well, just to push up the edge. Let's see that here. Let's run up it. Okay, that's looking kind of weird. <laughs> now for the fun part. I don't like to use the uh, traditional one. This just scratches the surface like that. Mm -hmm. Let's give it that blending that turns its texture. Splash, hold on, shape the small brush, and then just small water splash in the sky. Okay, I don't think this is a good brush for this guy. <laughs> okay, knife. Good thing with this wad now, I can blend it because of like, using the knife. So that blends in with this very well. But, uh, I think I'll just get my PSD brush back. Okay. To just build this up, fill this area up. And this guy should be a bit lighter. Good. Now at least we're getting somewhere. And yeah, I really want to give this, uh, make this horizon really distinct. Look, that's where the sky touches the ground. So, yeah. Something like that. I 
Okay, I'm gonna have this uh, mold this gradient. So it has this distant rock kind of thingy over there. There's one big jump. Don't know what it is, just somewhere. Just for sure. Trying to really capture some of its uh, detail, but it's kind of like wavy. I think I need to make the water more kind of like wavy. Some of the sky, that's what makes uh, water. Water reflects the sky. So, whatever value we have for the sky, the water should have the value too. Doesn't look like water, it looks like I don't know, some kind of muddy weird lake. That's what you get when you use reference. Reference is very important. to give that uh, emphasize that horizon I think I should want to make this a bit uh, dark I don't have to use blue I can use something else I'm gonna try some purple yeah no. Okay, so now I have a uh, flying blue speed weird boat. I still believe I can do more of this water, like the ripples. If it's coming from here, then uh, I need to add some of the streamlines, like just to make it more, you know, 
feeling that it's actually coming from here and then uh, the way fluid behaves some of the droplets get back you know just splatter around and then they get back like that and i can really change these hues just to make it more interesting okay let's put this in size 12 yeah like that and then add more of these uh, water effects just tup, 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 like that Some of this a bit more. And then it's like it leaves a trail. Right. And then uh, one thing I like to do is to use the uh, soft edge brush. It's very good for uh, atmosphere, but I want to be very careful. So, create a new layer using the plus sign, plus sign for layers. And then just drag one side like this. Very good, just like that, a little bit. And add some of that here. And I reduce this opacity to, uh, let's say, 80. Okay, 50. Let's see what happens. Uh, 50%. Okay, it's there, but it's barely noticeable. I think I like it, so I'll merge uh, the layers down. That's fine. So, just like that, we've had this uh, nine speedy boat vehicle thingy. Let's do another one. So I'm going to lock this layer and I'm going to hide it. <laughs> so we're back to the default. And this time I'm just uh, try and do some uh, quick... I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> oh, you see? <laughs> I wanted to start painting on this layer. But we locked it so it's safe. Uh, just something very small. Just keep the distractions away. Just uh, something really nice. And I don't want my subject to be at the center this time. So something like this. This might be a building, or I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, why not? Add some houses here. That doesn't look like a house. That does not look like a house. And then my lighting is going to come from here. Sunlight, top left. We have this uh, rough uh, environment, and uh, yeah, there's another thing, maybe some uh, other mountains over here. Yeah, and so the sky over here, then the mountains, then uh, there's going to be what's in front of us. And the light source is going to be from here. So that means I'll be having shades around here, around here, behind, yeah, behind here. You know. I'll be having shades, anything that's hidden, and then uh, what's in front is going to be bright. Okay. Right, so let's uh, let's paint this. Which brush am I using? Oh, okay, let me try the traditional thick file. 
The sky doesn't have to be. I think we used blue skies, right? Last time. Let's use simply with purple. Okay. Not good. Well, purple skies. Purple hills. <laughs> So I'm going to go into what uh, mode. This is not going to be my purpose. Yeah, I can select values from here. Ah, great. Our light source is from the top left, so the mountains are on this desaturated uh, almost gray kind of desaturated. Oops, we just painted on the word mountain. We are so not nice. Saturated green. It still looks like uh, looks like atmospheric green though. Now because of the black that I painted initially, it's uh, making things muddy. But uh, we don't really we don't care about that today. Well, that sounds so. As we can shave these mountains, consider the light source. Just the uh, rocks here at the bottom. So, yeah, started from the bottom now, yeah. Started from the bottom now, my whole team, but yeah. <laughs> Alright. It's 10.24 and, uh, So I wonder what everyone likes doing, like in spare time. I'm make this more earth tone. I'll add some more reddish brown stone at the bottom here. Yeah, so I was saying, like, what does everyone like doing? You know, something like playing games sometimes. So I've got this game called Fez. I'm um, using this guy called Gomez in a 3D cube like world. It's really nice. Really nice game called Fez. Interesting game. Just moving around in 3D and shaking the whole place. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So. Look for a darker hue for you. Let's remember the song by Eminem and D12. What purple hills? So we have pinkish light sauce. That is really weird. I'm trying to put some buildings here, but I don't know what happened. You know, right? <laughs> but I do want to leave this weird pillar though. Give it this uh, yeah, that kind of weird dull orange tone kind of.
Okay. Pillar, pillar, what color could you be? Yeah, we got this uh, weird looking uh, Chris Pillar looking type. Could it be a castle? Could be princess? No, it's not a castle or princess at all. But it's a nice pillar. I'm gonna make it stand out and add some uh, weird kind of shading to it. Trying to zoom out, see uh, what I'm doing here. Okay, I'll make the brush a bit bigger. Cover up some space. Add some other shading so that uh, you can easily like differentiate between sections. Some of this shade here. Cool. So that's not bad. Yeah, let's take it to be the picture. The sky, I don't know. I don't know. Let me use this other uh, for the sky. Blue sky is always the best. I don't know why I decided to go for this. Uh, Sky, but sometimes if you uh, break out of the ordinary, then you might have something really unique. Do I just break the ordinary at the sign? Oh, we don't have clouds. Oh, that's that's why it's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll pick this up. Uh, I just want to have this uh, harmonious tone. Yeah, we have purple clouds now. Yeah, look at this. We have clouds and we have purple. Okay. Yeah, just to make it uh, a little more interesting. We have uh, I think that's enough. <laughs> it's kind of weird enough. Let's see. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. The Alexa is coming from left. So, uh, yeah. Some light and just apply it. Like that. Yeah, let's put some on our clues. Cool. Let's see, why not? And then, to make this really stand out, I'm going to pick a very light. Reduce my brush size to about 
10. And then just do this. Just at the tip. Some of that cool shit, just get it some kind of like weird booze. Knife. Let's oh, use the knife for this band and some of that. Am I using my normal knife preset to make? Because I want to give this edge some kind of ghostly feeling. Like So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, some kind of alien weird, uh, uh, tin type kind of thing. Just blending this, uh, clouds. I'll just uh, quit here. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, one more thing before I go. Oil. Oh, for the oil brush. I'll just uh, pick a lot here. Layer. Yeah, that's my signature. It's kind of distracting, so. Uh, Excuse me? Alright, that's it. So we'll take out this one, and then we can open up this guy. Okay. So we just created like two mountain marks. Just playing around with color. Alright, so if you uh, like this freestyle thingy, you can subscribe to my channel or you can check out my Patreon page. I'll be uploading these uh, pictures and uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Bye bye.